I'm Robert Bassett. We're going to talk about the second big challenge in storage administration, managing performance and what SAN Symphony V does to make that easier. So why is it important to worry about performance of your storage? Well, when your storage performance is bad, it means your application performance is bad. It means a lot of angry people that can't get email and can't get services, and it means a really bad day at work for a storage administrator. So what can SAN Symphony V do to make that better? First, SAN Symphony V has an adaptive caching layer. It's basically a layer across all the SAN Symphony machines in the network that uses the RAM and the CPU of the SAN Symphony V servers to increase the apparent speed of anything connected to SAN Symphony V. It could be SATA drives, it could be Joe's JBOD, it could be a high-end performance storage array. All of these things are going to benefit from the SAN Symphony V caching technology. Okay, so that's a nice thing that SAN Symphony V does. It just makes things faster automatically and worries on its own. Again, this is software doing the heavy lifting for you. It worries about how to manage what's in RAM, what's in cache, and what's not. So that's a great thing SAN Symphony V does. In addition to caching, something you got to worry about with performance optimization is traffic management. How are the application servers coming in Without storage virtualization software, this gets out of hand in a big hurry. You can have lots of wires back there. They could be all kinds of different speeds, all kinds of different technologies. There could be fiber channel, there could be iSCSI. And on the back end of your SAN Symphony V servers, you've got all kinds of crazy stuff back there. You've got expensive arrays, you've got Joe's JBOD, you've got internally connected SATA. You could have all kinds of crazy stuff back here. And if you're worried about where wires are connecting and you don't have software helping you out, it's just not going to be a pretty picture. So what does SAN Symphony V to make, do to make that better? SAN Symphony V, when it's allocating storage to application servers, SAN Symphony V already knows where all the traffic paths have been laid out. So it's going to help you figure out where is my least utilized path. Where are all the paths where all the heavy traffic is flowing? This brings me to another point. SAN Symphony V has got the tools that you need to be able to see. Where is all the traffic flowing? Where are my bottlenecks? Where are things stuck? And I can move things around in Symphony V just by manipulating some checkboxes and whatnot in the GUI that will balance things out because things change. You might have things set up just right, it's humming right along, and then all of a sudden it could be a different picture. And so you, can get to, you get to look at your infrastructure and move things around based on what you know is the situation on the ground. So those are the two things that SAN Symphony V does to help you manage performance optimization. It's got adaptive caching. It makes everything faster that's connected to your SAN Symphony V servers. And it has tools and logic in it that help you manage the connections to the storage between the storage and the application servers so that your loads are balanced and you can identify bottlenecks. SAN Symphony V is designed to automate and simplify performance management.